Uh, what is Bayes' rule? In a nutshell, it is a theorem that describes how your confidence in an idea should change over time as you encounter new evidence. Now, you've probably already benefited from Bayes' rule this morning if you have used your email. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but in the last 10 to 15 years, ever since we stopped all using AOL and Hotmail, our spam filters have become a lot better. Um, and this is in large part thanks to Bayes' rule. Spam filters nowadays tend to use a process of Bayesian updating where they learn which emails are more likely to be spam or not spam based on evidence from past emails. So if a lot of the emails that get tagged as spam contain particular words or phrases like enlargement, for example, uh, then a Bayesian updating algorithm will start to increase the probability that it puts on a new email with those words also being spam. So the process might look something like this, just to throw some numbers at it. Um, and you can see how drastically the probabilities can change when you have strong enough evidence. So I put this up as an illustrative example, but in fact, I almost never use Bayes' rule this way. I almost never go around plugging numbers into a formula. What I do is I rely on these intuitive habits of thought that fall out of the math of Bayes' rule. And one such habit is this question. What would I expect to see if my hypothesis were wrong? How different would I expect the world to look? So I'll give you an example from my own everyday life. I was having coffee a while ago with a colleague of mine who I'm going to call Bob. And Bob was complaining to me about a mutual colleague of ours who I'm going to call Amy. Um, specifically, he was complaining that Amy had been late to a bunch of things recently. And I had sort of prior reason to suspect that Bob had been feeling jealous of Amy or competitive with her or something like that. And so as he's talking, I'm sitting there thinking, I knew it. This just confirms I was right. Bob is jealous of Amy. That's why he's complaining about her. And then a little later, it occurred to me to ask myself, what would I expect to see if I were wrong? Like, let's suppose Bob is not jealous of Amy. How different would I expect things to look? So I did this thought experiment, and I realized I would still expect him to complain about Amy, um, partly because Bob hates lateness, also because Bob loves complaining. <laughs> so the fact that he's complaining about her now it doesn't really help me distinguish which of those worlds I'm actually in. Um, and so, you know, I may still have prior reasons to suspect that Bob is jealous of Amy, but the key point here is that I should not be increasing my confidence substantially more in that theory based on this event.